You're listening to Gateway to E-Commerce, a podcast by ClearSell. In this series, global e-commerce leaders discuss challenges, best practices, new tech, and secrets to success. Are you enterprise level or a budding solopreneur? Welcome. This podcast combines lively interviews, roundtable discussions, and expert insights to help you build a tech-savvy and trusted e-commerce business in the digital economy, no matter where you are in your e-commerce journey. And now, your hosts, Denise, Sarah, Raphael, and David. Hi there. Thanks for joining Gateway to E-commerce. My name is Denise, and welcome to our first episode We're super excited to have you here today because we're going to be talking about what's going on this first season. We're also going to introduce the voices behind the podcast. First of all, we have Rafael Lorenco. Rafael has been with us for 12 years, and it's so interesting to me because when I started just about a year and a half ago, I, I learned so much from you right away because you're not only a data scientist, but you're also very much driven on the cultural side to bring us all together, and that's a really important aspect of clear sale for our success is the culture, but uh, rafael has got a data scientist background, and he brings everything to the table. He also started with, you know, when our company was about 25 people and brought it to 2200. And one of the things that I've learned probably most quickly from Raphael is the fact that fraud is definitely taken from a scientific perspective and can be fought that way, but it also has a people element. And I think that that's what's amazing about you, Raphael. Well, thanks for the kind words, Denise. And it's been such a journey. I've been for 12 years in the company. I've I've seen the company growing from 22 employees to 2,200 employees, as we have right now. And it is it, indeed things I learned about fraud and the things I learned about corporate culture were some of the the highlights to me. And I think throughout the the, the episodes of this first season, you guys will also be able to. Uh, feel a little bit about uh, who we are as a company and 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 how we see the sh- the content sharing as an important part of who we are and I think it ha- has to do with what Denise just shared about the the human element I think I mean we we love to share knowledge we love to have people with us and discussing uh, relevant stuff and uh, throughout this journey at ClearSale I had the chance and the and the pleasure to meet Dave Fletcher with our senior VP of sales and is one of the hosts for the season. You want to say hi, Dave? Hi, everybody. So Dave has been with us for a long time and it's interesting because he sees Clear Sale. He had the chance of, uh, of seeing Clear Sale, who, who created this podcast from different points of view. Whereas he was there as a as a consultant, and then he joined the team. And nowadays, as as part of the sales team, he's he's in the market. He's talking to people. He's talking to big brands, to partners, investors, everybody. So I think Dave br- brings a very different perspective over what Clear Sale is. So I will uh, go ahead and ask him how he sees Clear Sale and how he likes to describe who we are. But before that, I want to just add. The fact that David has been a, an entrepreneur himself, so he identifies himself a lot with Clear Sales entrepreneurial corporate culture. And as a dad of five sons, I'm sure he knows well how to handle multiple stuff at the same time. And that's what he's currently doing at Clear Sales. So welcome again, Dave. Hey, thank you, Raphael. And you couldn't have said it any better. That is so true. Having uh, five sons, not just five kids, but five sons certainly prepares me for a lot of the things that I have to deal with on a regular basis in in running a sales team and and as an entrepreneur running a business. So, you know, let me uh, let me talk a little bit about ClearSale because I do have a interesting perspective and it's interesting in that I came up with my perspective on ClearSale different than most people would. Uh, I was actually a consultant as as Raphael had mentioned. I worked uh, for my own business as a consultant to ClearSale and did that for a year and eight months. And in doing that, obviously, I was on the outside looking in and came up with my own uh, assumptions, came up with my, my own feelings about certain things. And, and as that relationship was progressing and, and the opportunity to come on as a full-time employee presented itself multiple times, you know, it was something that I realized, you know what, there are some things about this company, about ClearSale, that's very appealing. And that's, that says a lot about ClearSale and it says a lot about Raphael and the company culture and the things that are, are in existence at ClearSale today. Because as an entrepreneur that I've, I've had my own business since 2000, 
uh, I had not had an employer since the year 2000. And I hate to date myself like that, but that is the reality of it. Uh, you know, to give that up and to actually go work for a company says a lot about that company. And, and I now have been with uh, ClearSale a year. It's been uh, as a full-time employee and am thankful for every minute that I get because I love what we're doing. I love the direction we're headed in. I really love the people that I work with. And so, you know, let's, let's talk a little bit about ClearSale and who ClearSale is. And, and really, you know, I think what's important when you start thinking about ClearSale, because we, we talk about it's an end-to-end -end fraud prevention solution. And people are always like, well, what does that mean? Well, it means exactly that. It's an outsourced solution where we take it from the very beginning until the very end. And that very end could be a merchant has shipped the product successfully and, and everything is good, or it could be the dreaded chargeback and we have to deal with that chargeback and we are reimbursing our merchants for their chargebacks. And so, you know, I think what's really important to understand about ClearSale is yes, we have the data scientists. Yes, we have great technology. All of that is in place. But really what matters is that we focus so much on approving more orders as opposed to declining more orders. That's the thing that most merchants really grab onto when we have our conversations and we make our presentations. And so when you start thinking about ClearSale as a, a global company, we can help any merchant in the world. We can work anywhere in the world. We know that our algorithms change for different regions of the world. We've had success in doing that. You know, I think that there's so much there that we get to offer to our merchants that uh, it, it's really, really attractive, not only to them, but to me personally. So uh, having said that, I want to tell you a little bit about uh, what I would call probably my partner in crime. Uh, Sarah, Sarah is our senior director of marketing here at ClearSale. Sarah, say hello for a minute. Hello, guys. So to tell you a little bit about Sarah, Sarah is actually the very first person I met at ClearSale. Um, and she had reached out to me. And I'm not even going to tell you how that conversation went. She, I mean, she asked me questions that I had to think twice before I answered. Um, and to this day, she still remembers some of those answers. So thank goodness I did think twice before I gave her those answers. But getting into Sarah, you know, Sarah's been with the company since 2012, was originally in Brazil came to the U.S. when uh, Brazil decided to start the uh, enterprise here in the U.S., and she was a part of that original group that came to the States to get that started. And you know, the great thing about Sarah is she's not just a marketer. And I can say this because I owned a marketing agency. I hired many, many marketers. Sarah's that marketer that understands sales. And, and, and I'd like to put myself in that same category as Sarah, where yes, we can sell. Yes, we could do the marketing, but at the end of the day, it's all about growing the business and taking care of our customers. And that is definitely Sarah's expertise and background. I love the fact that she spent like five years with Procter and Gamble, which is a very well-known brand in a sales type role. And one of the things that she worked really hard to do over the last uh, year or so was to complete her master's. And she was able to get her master's degree in business from the Kellogg School of marketing at Northwestern University. And that is very impressive, Sarah, because I know how hard you worked and how much time you spent working towards that degree. So Sarah, now that we're getting this podcast going that we've been talking about for quite some time, now that we actually have it going, you know, what are some of the things that our listeners can expect to hear from us as we get through this podcast? Cool. First of all, thank you for the words, David. And I think what it's, uh, what it's going to be cool here for the audience, and, and it's also uh, the reason why we named this podcast Gateway to E-Commerce, is that there are many, many things that we, can, that we can share with the audience. As Rafael was saying, we are very, very uh, content-oriented. We like to share knowledge with our prospects, with our clients. We think that it's important for everybody to be on the same page. And when we think about e-commerce, it's like endless word. You can talk about many different angles. You can talk about logistics to e-commerce. You can talk about marketing to e-commerce. And then it's going to be different from a small merchant. It's going to be very different than a large merchant. And then you have all the basic aspects to have uh, uh, to run a store like platform, fraud protection, and all of this stuff. So it's exciting to see that we are going to be able to share some of the knowledge that we have with the market. And in some of the areas where we don't necessarily own the knowledge, we are going to have guests that we are going to invite for this podcast. That it's also exciting to, I'm excited to see how this is going to unfold and 
how their audience is going to react to all this content that we have. And part of the reason that we have all this content, and I would like to uh, circle back to Denise that you heard in the beginning, it's because we have a team that it's working on engage with the market. So Denise is the one uh, that she owns the partnership team. She's a connector by nature. You ask Denise to talk to someone. She really natural. She likes to connect people that eventually might benefit from each other. So she's the one bringing lots of this knowledge to the company as she hears from the market together with David that hears from the clients. And not only that, Denise has 20 years of experience in e-commerce with payments and e-commerce in general. So all around the globe. I think that this completes a team that it's going to host this podcast. And you can see there's a very diverse team and we have lots of experience to share. And I think you guys are going to be excited uh, as the episodes go. We are not going to be talking about fraud only. This is a uh, podcast that it's directed to anyone that is involved with e-commerce and different size of merchants, depending on the episode. Of course, we might focus a little bit more on SMBs or a little bit more on enterprise. But I think it's going to be an exciting, an exciting project. I think that's so true, Sarah. When, um, when I first started thinking about this podcast and thinking about all the different things that we could do, my mind just started racing. And even going back to when we started thinking about the names for this, and some of you might be surprised that we didn't have fraud in the name of the podcast. And that was definitely by design, because if you think about it, fraud touches just about every aspect of the e-commerce process. And so Gateway to E-commerce podcast made it seem a lot more inclusive about all the different aspects of, of e-commerce, which is precisely what we're going to delve into, whether it's with this team for this season or even expanding out to other experts, which I'm super excited about bringing in some of our partners for season two. So looking ahead to that. But I feel like I've got the best job in the world and the fact that all I do is put people together and magical things happen. And, and that to me is, is so exciting. And, and one of the aspects is the fact that we work with you know, startup companies, small, medium businesses or SMBs that are just starting out and thinking about how to get their cart set up and how to work with different e-commerce platforms like Shopify or Magento or Big Commerce, or, you know, as they grow into enterprise companies, we work with them as well. And they have different problems and, and different things that they need to tackle, whether it's on Salesforce Commerce Cloud or Oracle Commerce Cloud, or they've got a proprietary system that they're working on. And, and what I love about working with ClearSale is the fact that we work with small, medium business to enterprise and everything in between. And so we're constantly challenged with questions and, and different things to tackle on a day-to-day -day basis, which makes it different and exciting for us every single day. And um, these are all things that we can share with you. So that's something that I'm super excited about. So thinking back to that, David, um, when we started to name the podcast, what were some of the things that went through your mind as far as things we could talk about and, and what are you most excited about? Well, when it comes to naming the podcast, there were a whole bunch that we were kicking around. And uh, of course, being the, the jokester and prankster that I am sometimes, some of those uh, I probably can't share on this podcast at this moment, but uh, we came up with some, some really funny ideas and I think it was really cool where we landed, uh, you know, because when, when you think about the fact that we landed on gateway to e-commerce, that nails it. Like that is exactly what we want to share with the audience because Yes, we could get on here and we could talk about fraud and we could talk about fraud forever, but there's so much more to e-commerce than fraud. And I think this gives us an opportunity for this to this podcast to really educate merchants, whether they're experienced merchants or these are maybe brick and mortar stores that are thinking like, holy cow, the, the world is changing. And I've got to go online. Where do I go and learn? Right. And, and I will tell you as someone that has really only been in our industry for three years, right? Since the day I met Sarah was really when my, my, my fraud and my, my e-commerce experience really started to kick off. I spent a lot of time reading. I spent a lot of time researching and there are a few podcasts that I listen to. And this is exactly what I thought about when we started kicking around the idea of a podcast is what a great place for people to come and learn and be able to better understand what will it take to be become a merchant. And, and knowing that we're going to uh, share information from some of the partners, the people that you have brought in to our partner ecosystem and, and some of those other details, that's only going to help. 
our audience. And I, and I think from that perspective, there's a lot more to this podcast than just talking about fraud. Uh, we'll talk about so much more than fraud. And Sarah, I think you built an amazing base with um, all the different resources that we have on our site. There's a resources section on clear.sale. That's just, it blew my mind when I started working here because um, the other thing that I found is if we don't have an article about it, you, you and the team will create it. So I feel like the podcast is just really a natural extension of that. And it gives us a little bit more creative flow um, and ability to, to put our personalities into it as well. So Given that, um, how do you see the, the podcast fitting in with your big vision? You, you're right when you say that it's an extension. I think there are some topics that they are better, we can explain better if we're talking and also if you're interacting with other people. It's hard to, let's say, write an article and get the perspective of four, three different persons. So I think the podcast helps with that. And also, I think that it helps for the audience. Not always you are, you, you are willing to read something or not always you can read something. Sometimes we are driving or we used to drive before coronavirus. <laughs> Sometimes you are in your house and your eyes are tired, but you want to listen to something uh, about an industry that is not heavy, that is easy, easy flow. That also, you can also learn the people that works with the company that you're interacting to. So if you're already talking to ClearSay and you want to feel a little bit more about who we are behind every company, there are people, right? So a company is not a, it's not a, only an entity, but it's a group of people. So I think the I think the podcast helps to bring this diverse perspective and also personality. And Raphael, I, I know that you're often a guest on podcasts, and now here we are having our own podcast. So what what goes through your mind, and in what types of things do you have to consider when um, it's it's the Clear Cell podcast? Yeah. Funny that you asked, Denise, because for the audience to know this, we are recording the episode one after recording all of the audio episodes. So we, we've been, it's been a long journey already. And uh, in the first recordings, I was so used to be the guest that I was okay, like just throw me questions while uh, as, as the, the host, obviously we have to make questions as well and we have to uh, interfere and, and, and tease whoever is talking to us into the exchange of knowledge. So uh, it's funny that you asked. I feel that the podcast can and will be the representation of the way we see the knowledge flow, right? So we see that people in different positions at the company can add uh, their experience and their point of view uh, on the on the same on the same topics. So multiple points of view also uh, are important to understand the topic, uh, other than just talking to the specialist. So that's one of the things. And the other thing is that, that I am still excited about is bringing even different perspective from different companies uh, and different points of view uh, from from the market. So that's that season two down the road. But that's also something that is that is uh, that is interesting to me, and I'm I'm sure you will be thrilling on it, Denise, as you, as Sarah said, you are the, the connector between people that are interested in the same topic. Well, I'm looking forward to that. And I know coming up, we've got some really exciting episodes slated, whether we're talking about different verticals in the industry, whether we're talking about different locales. ClearSo works in 160 countries around the world. So it's really fun to slice and dice and look at different information behind those different countries and also just some different trends that are going on coming up. You know, we've got a, a huge shift and a huge change in e-commerce right now. And we're gonna capture some of those thoughts coming forward as well. So I think this is a really amazing team. I'm excited to be a part of it. And I think we all bring different aspects to the table. So with that, we're gonna kick off our season. We would love to have you subscribe to our podcast and write a review. You can also follow us on at ClearSaleUS. And if you know of anybody interesting that you would love to nominate and, and have on our podcast, please let us know. You can always write in to us. With that, we're going to go ahead and kick off our first season. We're proud to provide a showcase of collective voices in the e-commerce world to provide you with the best tips, strategies, and trends to use in your business. Join us for the next episode where Raphael and I will be talking about electronics. And until then, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for joining us. For more e-commerce insights, visit us on our website at clear.sale.